I love stars. You know, there's so much freshness in stars. The middle gets a bit draggy. But the ending, sometimes there are happy endings, sometimes there are sad endings. We are not going to be talking about anything exotic. We are not going to be talking about anything unusual. We are going to be talking about the kind of things which are intuitively obvious to every one of us in the room. Did you ever feel that as a student you were a product on an assembly line? Creativity isn't favorably received until graduate school. Undergrads are supposed to eat a dinner of textbooks and prove they have a digestive tract by reproducing the material in the form of a final exam or term paper. This film is on Stephen Ragazzi, a Trent University professor. What Stephen offers is the missing catalyst for individual development. By demonstrating a genuine interest in his students' ideas, he cultivates the unnerving and powerful feeling that how one individually sees the world is as important as curriculum. But don't get me wrong, Stephen has a lot to say. When I consider how my life is spent and have my days in this world and divide and that one treasure which is that my high lodge will be useless, though my soul more bent to serve the earth by maker less in returning chai. I memorized it, I built it on his blindness. Or, Arma vinum que caro troi, vi primo saboris Italia, un fato labina que vini, vi tora multi mila, blacky. Although he's affiliated with the computer science department, to call Stephen a computer science professor would be a tragic reduction. Computers are boring. Everybody's using these crappy little laptop crap things, and you can walk up to Bill Gates and say, You asshole! And you shove the cream pie into his face! You jerk! You ah! I've been trying to get that bloody Windows 95! And it's not working. So then Bill says, it's okay, have your people call my people. We'll give you the real operating system, <laughs> not the crap we release to the market. So what does Stephen lecture on? What does he teach? <laughs> what does he teach? Hmm. What prevents anybody casually reinterpreting the Big Bang of the cosmologist? identified with the original creation of the world by a god. Stephen doesn't just teach curriculum. He teaches you life. The meaning of our life is the purchase and consuming of potato chips. He has changed, I'm sure he's changed the lives of the students that he's taught um, forever. They'll never be the same. What is life? Lots of negentropy. Stephen's technique is a stream of consciousness without a paddle. You never know where you're going, where he's going to take you. How did Linné manage to set up taxonomic categories, both for animals and plants, that have survived to today? He didn't have positivistic science way back then. Certainly paid no attention to Newtonian mechanics, and neither should you actually, because Newtonian mechanics sounds like a fairy tale. How did Linné do it? Intuition. Obviously, when I stand up there and say, this is not a computer course, uh, in particular, uh, computers are boring. Well, one half of the class uh, immediately stands up and cheers, and the other half of the class is ready to murder me, because frankly, they like their computers. They have developed a close personal attachment with their computers. Let me tell you what computers are. Computers are large machines underground, in bomb-proof, bullet-proof, terrorist-proof buildings. No sign, no identifying marks. These computers process uh, a billion transactions per day for American Express, Visa, etc., etc. Those things are computers. 
So Stephen really does have a lot to say, but more importantly is what he lets his students say. If something doesn't look plausible to you, you're right. If something doesn't look plausible to you, you have a right to demand a plausible explanation. With Stephen, it's never a process of regurgitation, that's true. He's always pushing the envelope. He's always pushing us to push the envelope. And when it happens, he's delighted. You don't believe this, do you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as a student, you always have to be ready for some verbal jousting and uh, some parry and thrust going on in the class, and that does make it a lot of fun. Say what you really are thinking. It's a wonderful feeling. I am giving you a license. I am giving you permission to actually write and say what you are actually thinking. Okay? It's, it's one of the courses uh, that, uh, in which you can actually do this. Uh, don't try it with some of my other colleagues here at Trent. But in this course, you can actually say what you're, what you're thinking. By allowing intellectual freedom to flourish out of control, Stephen is saying transformation is key to the university experience. When you think about this process, a transformative process, that is a process or a participation or an activity which is going to transform you as a person, is fundamentally invasive. You are going to be turned into a different kind of a person. The amount of learning, the amount of uh, shall we say, personal change uh, is an order of magnitude, uh, of the order of ten times higher than when the learning is passive. So obviously, if I want to get something accomplished, if I actually want to make the educational experience into a transforming experience, then I have to use the tricks, which <laughs> Sorry, yes, I do manipulate. I have to use the tricks which almost unwittingly turn the students into mindful learners, participating learners. What professor tells you to drop the course? <laughs> he tries to convince you to drop the course <laughs> in the first class. Great students. Great students. That's, that's what makes a great teacher. And uh, I believe that inside, practically every human being that sits in the classroom, inside, practically every human being in the classroom, resides a great student. Stephen is definitely, definitely a performer. Every lecture is a performance. Let me sell you personal transformation. Let me sell you jailbreak. You are actually free to say what you actually know. I grant you the freedom right here at this moment by virtue of the fact that you're a human being, that you can stand up and say what you know. <laughs>